Hi, I'm Ryan Parks, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial series showing you how to creatively use your Mesa Katara in Ableton Live. For those of you who want to jump right in, I've included some presets for the Katara in Ableton Live in the links down below. In this first video, I'm just going to be going over the basics, setting up your Katara to talk to Ableton Live, using the MIDI Learn function in Live, and a brief intro into the world of MIDI. Most audio interfaces will have a MIDI in and a MIDI out port. Here I have my Katara connected to my M Audio Fast Track Ultra 8R. There are other methods for connecting your Katara to your computer, but just a word of caution, beware of the cheap MIDI USB cables. Many of these cables can cause unwanted latency and they don't support all the MIDI channels. After you have your unit all hooked up, we're going to change the Katara settings to send MIDI output. So we'll start by making a new preset, navigate to advanced, synth MIDI, and switch all your strings to MIDI mode. Make sure they're on channel 1. So here in live we're going to navigate to preferences, audio, and make sure your device is listed as both audio input and audio output. Otherwise the Katara's MIDI won't even make it to Ableton. Check to see that the MIDI indicator at the top right hand corner of Live lights up when you press the Katara. Next we're going to set up a few controls in the Katara. Navigate back to Advanced, Synth MIDI, and this time go to MIDI Controls. You can make a new control, select it here, and pick CC Leave it on channel 1 for now. And choose a unique control number. Feel free to program what you want, but here's a list of all the controls I've programmed for the included preset. Next we're ready to use Live's MIDI Learn function. Ableton has trouble telling the difference between an X command and a Y command on the XY pad, so here's a little trick I like to do to quickly MIDI learn the Katara's controls. 1. Save your setup as a preset on the Katara. 2. Write down all your programming. Three. Create a new preset. 4. Program your first control. 5. Mini learn the control. 6. Delete the control. And do it for the next one. Repeat until you've mini learned all your controls. When you are finished, just load up your original preset and go from there. If you're working on your own setups, it's helpful to know how the Katara's axis is set up. Note that the drag control is inverse of all the others. Last thing I want to cover is Live gives you some flexibility after you MIDI learn some functions. After you've used the MIDI learn function, you can make adjustments to the range and values of the controls you programmed in the MIDI window in Ableton. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you guys new to MIDI. Subscribe to my channel for updates on my new videos. I'd love to see any setups you guys make, so feel free to post. Have fun.